Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this video, we will explore an extremely interesting topic. Top 30 stars we lost in 2023, having gone through a long road to the peak of fame. These stars quietly passed away according to the laws of nature. However, their beautiful images and contributions to the entertainment world will live forever in the hearts of the public. Before starting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always receive breaking news about the lives of glamorous celebrities. Let's get started. Number 30. Suzanne Somers, a former actress and stunning beauty, was born on October 16, 1946, in San Bruno, California. She was widely known for her role as Chrissy Snow in the sitcom Three's Company in the 1970s. The peak of Summer's career was when she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for this role. Summers faced serious health issues when she was diagnosed with early-stage breast cancer in 2000. After a long battle, her condition worsened in 2023. Summers passed away at her home in Palm Springs, California, at the age of 77. Her sudden departure shocked the public, and many fans expressed their condolences. Suzanne Summers is highly regarded for her contributions to the comedy television genre. Her works and career have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Number 29. Tom Smothers, a member of the famous comedy duo Smothers Brothers, was born on February 28, 1937, in New York. He and his brother Dick achieved success with their comedy television show, The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, in the 1960s. With their humorous and satirical style, Tom and Dick became cultural phenomena, beloved by many young audiences. However, Tom faced serious health issues in 2023 when he was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. After a period of fighting the illness, he passed away at a hospital in Los Angeles at the age of 87. Tom's passing left longtime fans in shock and mourning. Tom Smothers is highly praised for his significant contributions to the entertainment industry. He and his brother Dick paved the way for a new, bold, and controversial comedy style. Number 28. Kamar de los Reyes, one of Hollywood's most beloved actors, was born on April 28, 1992, in San Antonio, Texas. This Filipino-American boy was widely known for his role as Michael Chrisimore in the popular television series, One Day at a Time, from 2017 to 2020, with natural acting talent and charisma. De los Reyes received much praise from critics. The peak of his career was when he was nominated for a Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Young Actor in 2018. Sadly, De Los Reyes' life was cut short by a rare and aggressive form of leukemia. After a courageous battle, he passed away on December 24, 2023, at the young age of 32. The untimely loss of this talented young star plunged Hollywood into sorrow, with many colleagues expressing their condolences. Despite his short-lived but memorable achievements, Kamar De Los Reyes was considered a promising young talent in the film industry. His natural acting ability and charm captured the hearts of audiences, leaving an indelible mark on his fans. Number 27. Cindy Williams was born on August 22, 1947, in Van Nuys, California. She made a special mark with her role as Shirley Feeney, the best friend of the main character in the popular sitcom, Laverne and Shirley. With her innate comedic talent, Williams received a nomination for Best Actress at the prestigious Emmy Awards in 1978. On January 25, 2023, Cindy Williams passed away after a long battle with illness. Her passing received many condolences from fans and colleagues in the film industry. With her outstanding comedic acting skills, Cindy Williams left an indelible mark on the hearts of her adoring fans. She will always be remembered as a talented star who brought many laughs to television audiences. Do you like this angel? Please comment, love, in the comments section if you love her. Number 28. 
Number 26. Ellen Holly was born on January 16, 1931, Manhattan, New York City, New York State. She was beloved by audiences for her roles in many popular television series such as Designing Women, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and especially as Connie Kendall in the TV series The Dukes of Hazard. In addition to her acting career, Holly was a talented country music singer with several chart-topping singles. In 2023, Holly was diagnosed with late-stage breast cancer. Despite fighting with all her strength, her condition did not improve. She passed away at her home in Nashville at the age of 92. The loss of this talented actress deeply saddened the country music industry and her fans. Ellen Holly left a proud legacy in both the film and music industries. She was praised for her natural acting talent and charming voice. Number 25. Suzanne Shepard, a renowned British actress and model, was born on October 31, 1934, Elizabeth, New Jersey. She was widely known to the public for her role as Eva Rodriguez in the popular TV series EastEnders on BBC from 2001 to 2005. With her radiant beauty and natural acting talent, Shepard won the hearts of audiences through her portrayal of the strong, independent woman Eva. The peak of her career was when she won the Best Actress Award at the Olivier Awards in 2006 for this role. In June 2023, Shepard was diagnosed with late-stage brain cancer. Despite relentless efforts to fight the disease, she ultimately succumbed. She passed away at a hospital in London at the age of 89. The passing of this talented star plunged the British entertainment industry into sorrow, with many fans expressing their condolences. Suzanne Shepard was an icon of modern, empowered women on the British small screen. Her outstanding performances will be remembered and honored by audiences as part of the cinematic legacy. Number 24. Hayden Gwynn, an outstanding British actress and stage singer, was born on March 21, 1957, Hurst Pierpoint, UK. She was widely known to audiences for her role as Mrs. Wilkinson in the famous musical, Billy Elliot the Musical, from 2005 to 2016. With her versatile acting and excellent singing talent, Gwynn captured the hearts of audiences with her impressive performance in, Billy Elliot. The peak of her career was when she won the Best Actress Award at the Olivier Awards in 2006 for this role. In September 2023, Gwynne was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. Despite her determined fight, she could not overcome the cruel disease. Gwynne passed away at a hospital in London at the age of 66. The passing of this talented star left fans in deep mourning. Hayden Gwynne left a memorable legacy in the British theatre and musical industry. She was praised for her deep and moving acting, as well as her passionate singing. Don't miss the characters in the background and make sure you watch until the end of the video because there's a very exciting part. Number 23. Joanna Merlin, a seasoned British actress, was born on July 15, 1931, Chicago, Illinois. She was widely known to audiences for her role as Phoebe Conroy in the popular TV series, Murder, she wrote, in the 1980s and 1990s. With her extensive experience on stage and screen, Merlin left an indelible mark with her skilled and sophisticated acting. The peak of her career was when she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress at the Emmy Awards in 1987 for her role as Phoebe Conroy. In November 2023, Merlin was diagnosed with late-stage thyroid cancer. Despite relentless efforts to fight the disease, she could not control it. Merlin passed away at her home in Los Angeles at the age of 92. The passing of this talented star left many fans mourning. With over 60 years in the arts, Joanna Merlin left a proud legacy in both film and television. Her iconic roles will be cherished and honored as part of the cinematic heritage. Number 22, 
Phyllis Coates, a veteran Hollywood actress, was born on January 15, 1927, in Wichita Falls, Texas. She was widely known to the public for her role as the first Lois Lane in the television series, The Adventures of Superman, in 1951, with her glamorous beauty and natural acting talent, Coates made a lasting impression on audiences as the fearless reporter Lois Lane in the legendary film. Although she only appeared in one season, this role was considered the pinnacle of her career. In August 2023, Coates was diagnosed with late-stage breast cancer. Despite fighting with all her might, she ultimately succumbed to the vicious disease. Coates passed away at her home in Los Angeles at the age of 96. The passing of this film icon deeply saddened many longtime fans. Phyllis Coates left an enduring legacy in Hollywood cinema through her iconic role as Lois Lane. Despite her short career, Coates remains a cultural icon, an essential part of the cinematic heritage. Number 21, David McCallum, a Scottish actor with a long and distinguished career, was born on September 19, 1933, in Glasgow. He was known worldwide for two famous roles, Ilya Kuryakin in the television series, The Man from UNCLE, in the 1960s and Dr. Donald, Ducky, Mallard in the TV series, NCIS, from the 2000s. The peak of his career was when he was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor on TV in 1966 for his role as Ilya Kuryakin. Despite his illustrious career, McCallum could not resist the passage of time. In 2023, he passed away peacefully in the loving embrace of his family due to old age. His passing evoked many memories and emotions from the public. David McCallum left a lasting impression on audiences with his diverse acting and professional demeanor. He deserves to be honored as one of the greatest actors of European and Hollywood cinema for many decades. Number 20, Gail Hunnicutt, born on February 6, 1943, on the Isle of Wight, Mexico, was widely known for her role as Yvette Morrow in the 1979 Western film, The Legend of the World's Best Gunfighter. With her radiant beauty and natural acting talent, Hunnicutt left a deep impression on audiences through her portrayal of the beautiful yet innocent Yvette. The long years of her youth came to an end in 2023 when she could not defy the inevitable laws of nature. The departure of the talented actress saddened many fans who expressed their condolences. Gail Hunnicutt left many memorable marks on audiences with her radiant beauty and admirable acting talent. Her works will forever be considered precious treasures in Hollywood cinema history. Number 19, Arlene Sorkin, born on October 14, 1955, in Washington, D.C., was widely known for her voice role as Harley Quinn, one of the most famous villains in the DC Comics universe. She voiced Harley Quinn in the animated series, Batman, the animated series, and related works. However, Arlene Sorkin passed away from pancreatic cancer at her home in Los Angeles. Her death shocked the fan community and the entertainment industry, who praised her and paid tribute to her significant contributions. The public expressed deep condolences and profound respect for Arlene Sorkin, who brought one of the most memorable characters in comic book and animation history. She left behind an eternal legacy in the entertainment industry through her talent and passion. Number 18, William Friedkin, one of the greatest film directors in Hollywood cinema, was born on August 25, 1935, in Chicago, Illinois. William Friedkin was widely known for classic films such as The French Connection and The Exorcist. He won the Oscar for Best Director for The French Connection in 1971, one of the most famous crime films in cinema history. In 2023, William Friedkin passed away due to old age and health issues related to his age at his home in Los Angeles. 
His death deeply saddened the film community and fans worldwide, who expressed profound condolences. The public praised and honored William Friedkin for his invaluable contributions to the film industry. Number 17. Inga Swenson, born on December 29, 1932, in Omaha, Nebraska, was widely known for her role as the mother in the famous Broadway musical, Mamma Mia. She received great recognition for her excellent performance in the musical based on the famous songs of the ABBA group. The peak of Swenson's career was when she won the prestigious Tony Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical in 2002. Inga Swenson passed away from old age and related health issues at a care facility in Bakersfield, California. Her death deeply saddened the theater community and fans worldwide, who expressed profound condolences and respect. The public honored Inga Swenson for her significant contributions to the theater and film industry. She was considered one of the most talented and versatile actresses of her generation, with excellent acting ability and special appeal on stage. Don't stop in the middle. This video will have many interesting surprises for you if you patiently watch until the end. Number 16. Jane Birkin, born on December 14, 1946, in London, England, was widely known for her role in the film, Blow Up, in 1966 and is the inspiration for the famous Hermes Birkin handbag named after her. She was also a successful pop singer with many warmly received albums. After a successful career path, Jane Birkin passed away from old age and health issues at her home in Paris. Her death saddened the world, and many expressed condolences for a great fashion icon. The public honored Jane Birkin for her significant contributions to the world of art and fashion. Her legacy will forever be cherished by fans worldwide. Number 15. Linda Haynes, born on November 4, 1947, in Miami, Florida, was widely known for bold and challenging roles in films such as Blood Sisters and Hardcore. She was highly regarded for her natural acting ability and authenticity, especially in roles of women with complex pasts. No one can escape the aging process, and Linda Haynes was no exception. In 2023, she passed away from health issues at her home in New York. Her death deeply saddened the film community and fans, who expressed heartfelt condolences. The public praised Linda Haynes for her dedication to independent film. Her artistic legacy will be forever honored in the history of cinema. Number 14. Carlin Glynn, born on February 19, 1940, in Cleveland, Ohio, was a talented actress of film and stage. She was widely known for her role as Leo McGarry in the acclaimed television series, The West Wing, from 1999 to 2005. The peak of Glynn's career was when she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2002, a great honor for her talent. In October 2023, Glenn was diagnosed with late-stage pancreatic cancer. Despite her courageous fight, she could not overcome the cruel disease. Glenn passed away at the age of 83. The passing of this talented star plunged the American entertainment industry into sorrow, with many expressing their condolences. Carlin Glenn left many memorable marks through her exceptional acting talent. Her artistic legacy will be forever cherished as a valuable part of the film industry. Spending time bonding with family and friends will help you feel happier and more stable. Maintain good relationships around you. Number 13. Betta St. John 
a familiar face in Hollywood cinema, was born on November 26, 1929, in Hawthorne, California. Betta St. John was widely known for her humorous and impressive supporting roles in many famous films such as Tall Story, Kissin' Cousins, and The Nutty Professor. She also appeared on popular television shows like The Danny Kay Show and The Donald O'Connor Show. Betta St. John passed away from old age and health issues at a care facility in Los Angeles. Her death saddened the film community and fans, who expressed heartfelt condolences for a talented and charming comedic actress. The public honored Betta St. John for her significant contributions during the golden age of Hollywood cinema. She was highly praised for her comedic acting talent and ability to bring laughter to audiences. Number 12. Sharon Farrell, born on April 24, 1940, in Sioux City, Iowa, had a career full of ups and downs like her life. Sharon left a deep mark with her starring role in the film, Sweet Charity, in 1969 alongside Shirley MacLaine. She excellently portrayed a poor but optimistic woman pursuing true love. The peak of her career was when she received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in 1970 for this role. It is heartbreaking when a talented artist like Sharon has to leave us due to a vicious breast cancer. Her death left infinite sadness in the hearts of fans and colleagues everywhere. Those tears of sorrow show the profound impact she had on the world of cinema. Although Sharon has passed away, her legacy remains immortal. She will forever be an icon of beauty, talent, and determination for modern women. Number 11. Barry Newman, a famous film and television actor, was born on November 7, 1930, in Boston, Massachusetts. Barry Newman was widely known for his leading role in the classic action film, Vanishing Point, in 1971. With his refined appearance and calm acting style, he created an iconic character of a rebellious but symbolically adventurous driver. Barry Newman passed away from old age and health issues at his home in New York. His death deeply saddened the film community and fans, who expressed profound respect and condolences for a talented and charismatic actor. The public honored Barry Newman for his valuable contributions to Hollywood cinema over many decades. His cinematic legacy will be preserved as one of the most iconic performances of the golden age of Hollywood. Number 10. The Death of Carol Locatell, born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on December 13, 1940, is a tale of both fairy tale and tragedy, full of emotions. Carol was widely known for her deeply impactful roles in popular television shows like Just Shoot Me and the film Touch Me. She captivated audiences with her authentic, down-to-earth yet charismatic acting style. The peak of her career was when she received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress for her role in just Shoot Me, in 1998, when the sad news of Carol's passing spread, the world seemed to mourn the loss of a dear friend. Thousands of condolences and tributes poured in for her, a talented, graceful woman who fought bravely against illness. Tears fell for the departure of a genius on the stage of life, but Carol's legacy remains eternal. Her deeply human, relatable roles will forever inspire resilience, optimism, and the spirit of life in every moment of an artist's life. Number 9. Elizabeth Hubbard was born in New York on December 22, 1933, and her life resembled a colorful river, flowing through the ups and downs of her career and the tearful and joyful personal experiences. Elizabeth left an indelible mark with roles that touched the hearts of audiences in Another World and As the World Turns. The peak of her career was when she twice won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 1976 and 1977 for her roles in the fantasy TV series. When the sad news of Elizabeth's death spread, tributes and condolences poured in for her, with tears serving as evidence of her significant influence on the artistic community and audiences. However, Elizabeth's extraordinary acting legacy will live on in the hearts of fans forever. 
Her emotionally charged and perfectly crafted roles will surely inspire endless admiration for acting talent and genuine artistic love. Number 8. Sharon Acker was born on April 2, 1935, in Toronto, Canada. Sharon left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans with her sharp and moving performances in TV shows like MacGyver, The Waltons, and Dynasty. The peak of her career was when she received a prestigious Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress in 1981 for her role in Summer Solstice. She captivated audiences with her dazzling beauty and natural, authentic acting. When the sad news of Sharon's death spread, the hearts of fans shattered with endless sorrow. Thousands of flowers and words of gratitude were dedicated to her, a talented, beautiful woman full of determination, she will forever be an icon of radiant beauty, extraordinary determination, and limitless creative ambition. The radiance of Sharon Acker will never fade in the hearts of her admirers. Join me to discover what's waiting at the end of the video, it will definitely be worth it. Number 7. Lisa Montel was born on July 5, 1933, Warsaw, Poland. She was widely known for her role as Sally Spectra in the popular soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful, where she brilliantly portrayed a bold and ambitious character. The peak of Janty's career was when she won the award for Best Supporting Actress at the Television Actor Awards in 2003. Lisa Montel passed away on March 7, 2023, at her home in Los Angeles due to advanced stage breast cancer. Her untimely departure saddened fans and colleagues deeply. Fans worldwide expressed many tributes to her on social media, with her excellent acting skills and passionate dedication to her craft, Lisa Montel left an unforgettable mark on the hearts of her fans. She will always be remembered as a talented shining star of the television screen. Number 6. Stella Stevens was born on October 1, 1938, in Yazoo City, Mississippi. She was widely known for her charming and rebellious roles in 1960s films such as Girls, 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 and The Courtship of Eddie's Father. Stevens reached the peak of her career in 1960 when she was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer. Stella Stevens passed away on June 17, 2023, in Los Angeles, California, due to age-related health issues. The film community paid tribute to her as a seductive and talented icon of 1960s cinema. With her radiant beauty and recognized acting talent, Stella Stevens contributed significantly to the liberating and daring atmosphere of 1960s cinema. Number 5. Cody Longo was born on March 4, 1988, in Littleton, Colorado. He was known for his role as Eddie Duran in the popular television series, Hollywood Heights, on Nickelodeon. Longo's acting career also included roles in Fame and Piranha 3D. The peak of his career was when he won the award for Outstanding Supporting Actor at the Alma Awards in 2012. Cody Longo passed away on March 8, 2023, in Austin, Texas, in a tragic car accident. Many entertainment industry colleagues expressed deep sorrow and respect for the sudden loss of this talented young actor. With his handsome appearance and diverse acting talent, Cody Longo promised a bright future in cinema if not for his untimely departure. He will forever be a shining star in the hearts of his fans. Number 4. Annie Wershing was born on March 28, 1977, in St. Louis, Missouri. She was known for her roles in popular television series such as 24, Bosch, and Timeless. 
Her most notable role was Renee Walker in the series, 24, which earned her a nomination for Best Supporting Actress at the Satellite Awards in 2009. Annie Wershing passed away on June 29, 2023, in Los Angeles, California, after a long battle with breast cancer. Her passing deeply saddened fans and colleagues in the entertainment industry, with many stars sharing tributes to her on social media. With her powerful and talented acting, Annie Wershing became a familiar face on the small screen. She will always be remembered as a dedicated actress who gave her all to the film industry. Make time for recreational and relaxing activities that you enjoy. This will help you relax your mind and renew your energy. Number 3. Sylvia Sims was born on January 6, 1934, in Woolwich, London, United Kingdom. She was widely known for her roles in classic British films such as Ice Cold in Alex, Woman in a Dressing Gown, and Victim. The peak of her career was when Sims won the Best Actress Award at the Berlin International Film Festival in 1958. Sylvia Sims passed away on June 27, 2023, at Denville Hall a retirement home for actors in London, England, due to old age. Her passing deeply saddened the British film community, and many paid tribute to her. With her natural acting and ability to portray diverse female characters, Sylvia Sims made significant contributions to the success of many British films during the golden age of cinema in the country. Number 2. Gina Lolo Brigida was born on July 4, 1927, in Subiaco, Italy. She gained global fame with captivating roles in films such as Bread, Love and Dreams, Beat the Devil, and Trapeze. The peak of Lolo Brigida's career was when she was honored with two Bambi Awards in 1959 and 1962. The Italian film star passed away on January 16, 2023, at the age of 95. Her death deeply saddened the international film community, with many stars paying tribute to the timeless beauty and talent of the black-haired Venus. With her enchanting beauty and recognized acting talent, Gina Lolo Brigida became an icon of Italy's golden age of cinema. Number 1. James McCaffrey, a renowned actor and filmmaker from New York, was born on May 17, 1959, in Brooklyn. He was widely known to the public for his impressive role in the classic film, The Deer Hunter, directed by Michael Cimino in 1978. With his rugged appearance and excellent acting skills, McCaffrey vividly portrayed the character of Robert Bobby Vita, a Pennsylvania miner who served in the Vietnam War. His performance was highly praised by critics and contributed significantly to the success of The Deer Hunter, a film that won five major Oscars. In November 2023, McCaffrey was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer. After a period of fighting with extraordinary resilience, he passed away at a hospital in Los Angeles at the age of 76. The passing of this talented actor shocked the film industry, with many expressing their condolences. James McCaffrey left an unforgettable legacy in the hearts of audiences with his skilled acting, particularly his outstanding performance in The Deer Hunter. He was one of the prominent figures of the golden age of cinema, making significant contributions to American cinema. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through the transformation of iconic images. If these stories make you curious, don't forget to press the like button, share this video with people who love interesting stories and subscribe to the Hollywood Inside 1960s channel to update more interesting content. Your support is a great encouragement to our passion for uncovering the untold stories of influential people. Stay tuned to discover more, and until next time, keep your curiosity alive.
See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.